Tunis is the capital and largest city of Tunisia, a country in North Africa. It is located on the Mediterranean Sea's Gulf of Tunis, behind the Lake of Tunis and the port of La Goulette. Founded by the Libyans in the second millennium before the Common Era, and over time occupied by Berbers and Numidians. The city of Tunis has been controlled by the Phoenicians, Romans, Arab Muslims, Ottomans, the Spanish, the French, and the Germans, and finally achieved independence as the capital of Tunisia in 1956. This history has made Tunis a city of wonder with the largest cultural contrasts. Tunis is divided into the World Heritage listed Old City and the New City, or Ville Nouvelle in French. The city has many ancient buildings and a captivating mix of North African and French architecture. From the winding alleys of the Medina, filled with tantalizing aromas and colorful bazaars, to the sleek and contemporary architecture of the modern city. Here are the best places to visit in Tunis. Babel Par, also known as Port de France, is a historical monument and one of the most important monuments in Tunisia. Its name means the door of the sea, because before Tunis Centre was rebuilt by the French, the sea used to arrive up to Bab el Par. It was originally built in the 10th century AD and was later rebuilt in 1860 AD. It is located in Victory Square, and it marks the separation between the Medina of Tunis and the modern city. The UNESCO protected Medina of Tunis was built in the 7th century, making it one of the first Arab Muslim towns in the Maghreb. Today it is home to around 700 monuments, including impressive palaces, madrasas, mosques, mausoleums and fountains. Walking through the Medina, you'll notice different architectural styles, Andalus, Arabic, Roman, and Byzantium, which used to be an important Mediterranean place of trade. The main thing to do in Medina is, of course, shopping. This sprawling maze is home to a myriad of covered souks, where you can find everything from footwear to shisha pipes, as well as vibrant cafes. The Zitouna Mosque is the largest and oldest mosque in Tunisia, dating back to the late 7th century. It is a place of great historical, cultural, and religious importance. This significant mosque is located at the heart of Tunis Medina, and is home to the oldest Islamic university in Tunisia. The mosque's prayer hall is a grand and impressive space, containing more than 200 columns that were retrieved from Roman Carthage. Non-Muslims are not allowed to enter the prayer hall, only the courtyard. Madrasa Slimania is a historical Islamic madrasa from the Ottoman era, located in the Old Town. It was built in 1754 AD by Abu El Hassan Ali in memory of his son Suleiman. Madrasa Slimania was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979 as part of Medina of Tunis. The courtyard is surrounded by four galleries, one of them gives access to a prayer room, and the three others to 18 rooms formerly hosting students. Nowadays, it is the head office of many medical associations. East of the Medina through the Sea Gate, also known as the Bab El Par and the Port de France, begins the modern city or Ville Nouvelle. Its main core is Avenue Habib Bagiba, a wide avenue planted with palms and eucalyptus trees. From the tree-lined sidewalks to the wide pedestrian walkways, you'll find an array of shops, restaurants, and other places of interest that make this avenue a must-visit. Architecture fans should check out the wonderful mix of colonial and post-colonial buildings along Avenue Habib Bagiba, from the modernist inverted pyramid of Hotel du Lac to the genteel and grand European style of the government buildings. There are many Art Nouveau and Art Deco buildings here. Sadly, many of these are in poor shape and need renovation, but you can still admire their fine details and beauty.
You can also sit in one of the many cafes here and observe the busy city life. Independent Square is also a must-see in Tunis. Its name was given when Tunisia obtained independence from France in 1956. This is also the location of the Ibn Khaldun statue, a memorial to the famous Tunisian philosopher and historian. Another popular public art piece is the I Love Tunis sign, which is often used as a backdrop for tourist photos. The best attractions in Tunis Newtown include the Cathedral of St. Vincent Delaware Paul. Built in 1893, it is the largest surviving building of Tunisia's French colonial period. Its neo-Romanesque facade presides grandly over the north, end of Independence Square. It was named after St. Vincent Delaware Paul, a priest in the region who was sold as a slave and fought slavery after he was liberated. The facade is decorated by a golden mosaic of Jesus, and two trumpet-playing angels. The Municipal Theatre is a theatre that is located along Avenue Habib Bagiba. It was built in 1902 with funds from the city of Tunis. A pretty Art Nouveau-style building, worth seeing in its own right even if you're not going there to see a play or concert. The iconic 38 meters high clock tower on Avenue Habib Bagiba is one of the city's most visible landmarks. It is often referred to as the Tunisian Big Ben due to its resemblance to the famous clock tower in London. It was built to commemorate the independence of Tunisia on November 7. There are many other things to visit while you are in the city centre, like Place de la Casbah, Dar Ben Abdullah Palace, the Torbet El Bey, Dar Lasram, the Palais Khairuddin, Museum of Tunis, etc. The two major things to do while in town are both out of the centre. The world-famous Bardo Museum is home to one of the world's most important mosaic collections. The other major historical attraction is the remnants of the ancient city of Carthage, scattered throughout a shoreside tuna suburb. When you've soaked up enough history during your tuna stay, one of the best places to visit is Sidi Boussaid. If you plan your trip to Tunisia, it is worth taking a day to see part of what Tunis has to offer. You can expect a vibrant capital with friendly locals and a first-class tourist destination you don't want to miss. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.